Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm very excited to show you this new model called One 2.1 dedicated for video generation. According to the results, it is uh, certainly one of the best model for video generation using text. So today it is uh, natively supported in Comfy UI and I will show you how you can install it and run this model for low VRAM GPU. So without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. Okay, so what is One 2.1? It is a model developed by Alibaba Group and uh, it is uh, the last video generation model in town. It, it is consistent of four video generation models, including text to video 14 billion parameters, which support both uh, 1480 uh, 7020p. And also, we have an image to video 14 parameters too, image to video for 14 parameters for low and uh, HD resolution. And also we have the last model, which is the text to video 1.3 billion parameter, which supports 4080 pixels. So uh, this model is now uh, supported natively in Comfy UI, so you don't necessarily need to install some additional nodes or, or do complex installation. It also supports uh, low VRAM GPU consumer, as you can see here, especially with the 1.3 billion parameters models which requires only 8 GB of VRAM in order to make a 5 seconds video at this resolution. And it took uh, about uh, 4 minutes in using the RTX 4090 in order to create this video. One of uh, the most important thing is that it is the first model that can understand uh, both Chinese and English text. So it is a new feature for this uh, video generation models. In addition to that, the One VAE can encode and decode the video at uh, full HD resolution while preserving uh, temporal information, making, making it an ideal foundation for video and image generation. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can find all the necessary models to download in order to use this model. We have the diffusion model. You just have to click here. We have the text encoder model. We have both file for text encoder. We have this E5XXL FP8 and we also have the clip vision H, which need to be placed here. And we also have the VAE. So once downloaded, just put all the file in the same file. Then we will start this person uh, all the necessary file here for the clip H. Just select here, copy and paste under clip vision subfolder. Then for the VAE, just search for the VAE subfolder and paste your model here. For the UMTT5XXL, make sure to select it. Copy the file and go to model uh, under clip subfolder and copy your file here. Okay, then go to model, diffusion models, and here we will need to copy the image to video model and the text to video model. For the text to video model, I am using the FP8 version. However, there is a concise version of the both uh, models. So I'm gonna test out the image to video GGUF version for this one. To do that, just select it, go to model again, and search for search for unit folder make sure to paste your model here okay now that we have every model installed make sure to go to your comfy UI enter manager and here you can see that you need the last version of comfy UI which is the 0 0.318 and this version support natively the new one 2.1 video model so you need to upload your Comfy UI by just clicking Update Comfy UI. For other Comfy UI users that uses the application directly, you can just go here to the manager. And if you don't have this update Comfy UI, don't worry. Make sure to update your fetch and restart everything. This way you will be able to generate video using this one uh, model. And if you are going to City 96 uh, Hugging Face, you can find all the necessary model uh, in the GGUF version. Those models is, are going to be very uh, important for uh, low VRAM PC users, since uh, the quantized version use always less VRAM. So it's up to you now to choose the right model for you. In my case, I am downloading the Q5 version for uh, this image to video uh, GGUF. Okay. Once you have everything set up, 
just make sure to drag my workflow here or you can use directly the workflow provided by the comfy ui block here to do that just open up the image in a new tab copy the code here and paste it in your comfy ui however i strongly suggest you to use my workflow since i regrouped both image to video text to video and i also added this auto prompt generator this way you will uh, you will not need to do any necessary uh, effort good now let me show you uh, the basic of this workflow okay let's start with text to video which is a very classic and basic workflow for comfy ui we have here first to our load clip in order to load the, the text encoder model this is uh, linked to the clip text encoder positive and negative prompt and it is taken into consideration the negative prompt here then we have our load diffusion model which is going to be needed in order to load our model you can also use the the ggwf loader in order to load the ggwf version of this text to video but for now i am only working with this one here we have our vae loader the vae decode and finally our video combine in order to see our video now let's focus more uh, for the key sampler as you can see we have here a steps of 30 the cfg scale is equal to 6 for the sampler name we are using the uni pc and for the scheduler we are using a simple one and the most important thing for this model is this empty latent video here we have the links the width and the height which are the most important parameters for video generation when we work using the previous model uh, for video generation like honey one or ldx video i, I could not uh, generate video at high resolution however for this one 2.1 uh, one, i was able to run uh, to generate high resolution videos without any issue and in addition to that uh, not all my vram was used uh, during the process which is very amazing for this model so the first video that i generated is with this default prompt that i found here you can clearly see a fox that is running alongside with snowy path and the sunset is following the the camera that's the first prompt the second prompt was this video of this woman uh, covered with blood raising its hand then talking as you can see i managed to, to generate this video at a high resolution compared to the previous one i did a multiple variation and you can clearly see the good quality of this video it is very impressive and it was more impressive to me uh, compared to comfy to honey one in addition to that the, the generated time for this video was only about uh, 15 uh, and 20 minutes according uh, which is related to the resolution the more you increase your resolution the more it's gonna took you the time however the text video for uh, one 2.1 was very fast compared to honey one which is a good point so now that we try the text video let me show you how this image to video work you just need to enable this and bypass the text to video group here it is also a very classic uh, workflow and we have uh, the load clip notes the unit loader nodes where we're gonna load our DGUI version but we have here the additional uh, nodes for uh, one image to video which will uh, regroup the positive and the negative clip text encode the VAE model and the clip vision output and the start image so let's see that step by step here we have our load clip vision and we're gonna use the clip vision H that we download earlier it is plugged here into the clip vision encode in order to encode both image and text i select it here to center but you can uh, bypass this step by just uh, selecting none okay for this one image to video we have the width and the height the length of your video and the batch size as always for here i am using a lower resolution compared to text to video since the image to video is taking more resource and it is taking more time compared to the text to video and the main reason behind that is that you're gonna encode your image pixels in order to transform it into a video so this process is very handy and it takes a lot of resource for the key sampler we have here a minimum of 20 steps the cfg is still six and we are using the same parameter like the text to video after that our video will be decoded and combined here 
but before that let me show you what is the auto prompt generator that i add and how this image is gonna be encoded the load image here is gonna be plugged into the clip vision encode and also the one image to video encode as you can see we have here this stored image it, it's gonna provide the, the one image to video the, uh, the necessary data in order to start creating our video however to do that we all we also need the, the the necessary prompt that goes with the image so that's why i add this forms to run which is very efficient in order to create prompt that describes uh, precisely your image as you can see here i am selecting this task of to detailed caption we have our cr text replace since this uh, from to run is going to describe an image and we're going to need a video however during my test i noticed that you can bypass this notes so it's up to you you can leave it or bypass it since this model understand that we're going to generate a video even if we include the image words in the text prompt then here you can add uh, any additional information like for example here i add the flying dragon spitting fire after that i just plug this uh, string here into the clip text encode and to do that let me show you how you just have to use the right click convert widget to import and here you can plug the string into the text okay you just have to click q prompt and you will see the results my first results was this image of this knight holding on uh, its sword with a magical effect and you can clearly see that is very uh, that the resemblance with the image is very close the second image that i used is this one over here and i add in the text prompt uh, that this uh, uh, hooded man is punching uh, the camera like a boxer as you can see it uh, succeeded to create this image and the results is also very important and very impressive we can also say the same thing about this expression of this lady it is uh, very uh, close to the original image the dragon is moving its head and the lady is smiling another result of smiling person is this knight over here it drops its sword then it smile and the results again is very close to the original image and the last one that i used is this image of a man holding a sign where i add into my text prompt uh, uh, a man holding a sign and uh, rising into the, uh, the sky and as you can see it succeeded to create this uh, video so this one 2.1 is very uh, impressive for uh, video generation if you are using both text or image to video however the main downside of this image of this model is the image to video it is true that uh, the results is very impressive but it is taken a lot of time most of my videos was generated uh, with the average time of one hour and 13 minutes sometimes it is 13 minutes and sometimes it takes more so you need to be patient if you are interested to work with this model in addition to that i am pretty sure that uh, other update uh, will come into this model will come for this model where we will be able to generate uh, more faster video like what we saw in honey one video model where we was uh, able to generate uh, video two times faster using the tcash uh, technologies or maybe we can expect uh, generation video using the technology we have the wave speed notes so i strongly suggest you to use this model right now it is true that is it is not faster as a honey one for now but it is the quality seems to be better in, especially in image to video okay that's it for today tutorial if you like this video tutorial please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel uh, leave me some comments down below and don't forget to watch my other video tutorial about comfy ui i'm doing video generation and also image generation so 